Hi there, it's Moira MacDonald. Thanks very much for joining us. Um, I was a bit unsure as to whether or not I'd actually get around to doing a video today. Um, mostly because I've spent the morning trying to prepare stuff um, to put in the book. Uh, I, I just felt that uh, to have you sitting watching my thinking process uh, might be a bit unreasonable. So, um, kind of organised, kind of. So let's go for it. Um, get a wee drink of water. I'm saving my tea till for when I finish this. Right, so let's get my book. Now, first page. Quite like something nice for my first page and what I was planning on doing was just going straight for a book page. Um, what I've done is I cut a picture from that storybook with the Hansel and Gretel story and I have uh, matted it on black card and then I put a kind of hinge if you like uh, just with paper and I'm planning on sticking it. Now, to be fair, I'm trying to think. I've got two of them. I've got the gingerbread house and I've got another one where they've clearly been to the gingerbread house. Uh, in fact, I think this might have been them after they'd uh, escaped the witch and they're running away with some gingerbread. I think we'll use that one or that one. I don't know. See, one's thinner than the other. Do you know, I don't think it really matters all that much. We'll use the gingerbread house. See, this is what I mean about my creative process. Um, it just, you, you'll know yourself, you'll sit and swither about things. And when you're sitting filming it, it's even worse because the last thing you want to do is really bore folk. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on as my first page. It's on, It's going to be on a hinge, so the hinge will open up. And when the hinge opens up, my intention is that I'll have some paper in here for writing. But obviously I can't stick that down until I've stuck down the hinge. So, hinge first. Good old Fabri-Tac. This really should be getting near its last legs, I would have thought. And I need to watch because what I don't want to do is have the fabric tag uh, go beyond the hinge because if it does then obviously the picture won't be lifting up will it? Right, let's see if that's... I mean, I'm going to put the lid on that because before I know it it's going to be glue everywhere. Right, so, try to get it as close as I can to the middle, that will do us, lift it up and let's just make sure that what's stuck down is the hinge and not the whole picture. I think we're okay there. I'll just get a wee bit of spare coffee dyed paper uh, which is small enough to fit under this and not be seen until you open it up to use it. Uh, I'll glue that in on that side. Uh, what I'll maybe use here if I can find it is some double-sided tape. I mean, it's it, you could use glue. I just want to help. I just want to use the double-sided tape for uh, kind of convenience to make sure that once it's stuck, I can move on to the next page. Because um, I don't want to have to glue it and then sit and stare at it for a good ten minutes before we tackle anything else. Uh, 
I notice, uh, well, I, I don't think double-sided tape's one of these things that's used very often uh, with folk doing junk journals, and that's probably not for any good reason, really. But just because I've spent most of my time in the past making cards, um, double-sided tape is an absolute boon when you're making cards. You always need to make sure when you're buying it though that you're buying tape that's acid free uh, because if you don't what happens is you get uh, marks in whatever you've stuck. Now I'm turning over, I've shown you this before in one of my other videos, turning over the corners of the tape so that they stick out and it means that I can position this where I want it before I take away the tape altogether and stick it down permanently. I think that's okay there. I'm hoping Aye, that's fine. So we can take away. Now I've only used it on three sides because I don't think I need to glue it for all it's worth on this occasion. It's not going to be the thing that's really getting any play. What's going to be getting play is the hinge on that and we've used Fabri-Tac which as we all know there is no question it just never comes off it's stuck. There you go so you now have journaling space here and here although you'll need to obviously lean on something in here as well and that covers over and it's secret journaling space and that's your first page. So um, <clears throat> I don't want to, oh help, I've done it upside down, I don't believe it. Oh heavens to Betsy Boobers, there's my one. Right, well not to worry. Try not to laugh. I should have checked that. Uh, right, get the rest of the book up the right way. And you know what that means, don't you? That means we go to the back page and we fix the one. That's going to be the only thing that's out of place, thankfully. Oh Moira, you're an absolute mug, so as you are. Right, wait a minute, we'll tackle the back page to make sure we've got that covered. And now the thing is though, if I use that, that's not going to fit. Because that won't cover that one. So I think what we're going to have to do down here is a collage or put a pocket on the back page. La 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 la. I hadn't prepared the pockets yet. Although I do have a, a cutaway mason jar. I could put that in there and have it as a wee tuck. I don't know though, it's not terribly big and strong, I don't feel. Mm. Right, what do we have by way of card? Well, we've got some more of that, and the other side is that. So we could use that. What we shall do is... Corner rounder. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to bring the camera. It's actually quite big. Oh, that's too, too long that way. Get my ruler till I measure it. Right, it's, it's just over five inches long. It doesn't need to be that long. I think what we'll do is we'll maybe make it Make it three and a half, so bear with me and I'll cut some off.
and we'll use Fabri-Tac. No accident where a junk journal is ever that bad that the world's ending. It's a blooming nuisance that you've made a fool of yourself. Your great idea for numbering pockets and you didn't bother to check before you started. But that's the way it goes. Right, that's in its position while the glue goes mad. And what we'll do is we'll decorate this wee pocket in some fashion. I've got some, that's too big, some old pictures from olden books. That's a bit big as well. Can use a wee, a wee rhyme to put there. I think we'll maybe make that a wee bit straighter. So we basically want to do a wee bit of layering on this side. Uh, give me a second here and I'll stretch across and get some music paper. I've got Songs of the British Islands, which is from nineteen twenty six by the looks of things. I've been using this book uh, quite a lot, so... It's not... Uh, we don't need to have the 10 minute pause and pondering as to whether or not we can bring ourselves to, to do it. I'll go round though, I think, with a vintage photo. Right, now do we want to risk opening this because I know it was spewing out. A little bit all full of glue. Do you know I really do owe it to myself to use a new bottle of glue, don't I? Stick that there. I did some stamping and I've got a wee lady. Now, if I stick her there, it's looking okay. I've got this horrible craft card. Um, I bought a pad, which was a patterned pad, um, and it never really occurred to me. I really only wanted it to get some craft card because I was finding it quite difficult to to find craft card anywhere and uh, I bought this pad when I saw it thinking it was an absolute godsend and then the reality hit in when I went to use it and I thought well yeah I can use the back but can I really use the decorated side because it just wasn't you know it was no patterned with anything that was I think there was two sheets that looked a bit vintagey and all the rest was um, kind of fairly modern stuff so it just wasn't wasn't for me. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man, bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with tea, put it in the oven for Tommy and me. I'm sure it was mark it with B and put it in the oven for baby and me. 
Well, at least it was when I was wee. I've got a wee bit of glue spewing out behind the wee lady. It's us. No. See, I could add things, but I don't really want to because if I'm using that as an actual tuck, um, you don't want anything to overlap, right? That'll do us. So there you go, front and back's done. Wasn't intentional, but it is now. Right. I don't want to decorate the plain journaling sh sheets because I've already stamped them. So, just make sure the next time that I do this, I get them all the right way up. Um, now, what else I've got is, I've got this as a kind of pocket. Um, what I was thinking of doing was I could glue it on, it's a, it's a manila envelope and I've just folded it over and used some scrapbooking paper so you can put a tag in there and I don't know whether or not, what I think I'll do is I'll leave it open at that side so effectively what I'll do is I'll glue along the bottom, up that side and along the top so that you can put stuff in there the only thing I've got against putting anything on the top is the way the envelope's sealed over. That's a wee bit loose, so I would have to glue that down before I get started. Um, and I can't bother, to be honest. So I think what we'll do is we'll do that and we'll put it to the side so that you can see the number seven. Now, there's by no stretch of the imagination am I going to do all of the pages today. Because uh, there's just too much thinking to achieve that. I'm going to hold that in place, put my lid on my glue. The other thing I could do is I can put something here, another wee kind of, not a major collage, but a wee something anyway, just to uh, take away the plainness of that brown pattern. Some other little poems. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack, Jack jump over the candlestick. We could put that there and just do something else at the bottom just to take away the, the plainness of that. Although to be honest I think with it being that wee bit plainer what I might also do is add a wee postage stamp that is not brown but it's blue to go with the blue of the, the main paper. Hold on, I'm just squeezing out the little bits of glue and rubbing them off the page here. Right, where's Jack Benimble going? Let's get him stuck down. things too straight and uniform. I like, I really, um, I think it gives the eye a bit more interest when it's got something to look around. 
Oh, come on, glue. But that's glue in this. That'll do this. Try to make sure that's kind of straightish. And I went to add a stamp. I was going to add this me. I think that's George Washington. And we'll sort of have him over both of those. I'll, now, for George Washington, what I'll do is, if I can find, there it is. Can you find the glue stick for staring at it? Uh, I'll just use a glue stick for him because you'll know yourself when you're sticking something so small and postage stamp paper isn't exactly the stubbiest. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Oops is my middle name. There we go. Stick GW down there. And I'm happy with that. So we've got a tuck there and a tuck there. Um, leave that page just now. This is my next one. And I think what I might do here is just do a kind of collage on it. Uh, now I've got some attractive scraps, I've got my music paper and I wanted to take a page from my stories. This book's literally falling apart um, and it was like that when I got it. So I, again, um, I didn't feel a phenomenal amount of guilt when I decided to tackle it. What I do want you to do is there's a wee picture of cats at the bottom and I'm going to save that because that may well figure somewhere else in the journal. Mm, right. Don't like cut edges. Within reason, I think. I'm going to cut this with the, the guillotine bit of it. Knocked over something. Nothing important. Everything's okay. Right, so. Oh, now everything's fallen. If we stick down a bit of the kitten story, take a wee bit of music. User scrap. I've actually got a little thing. This is quite good because it's about uh, animals. It's Bow Wow says the dog, Mew Mew says the cat, Grunt Grunt goes the hog, and Squeak goes the rat. To who says the owl, Caw Caw says the crow, Quack Quack says the duck, and Cuckoo say you know. Mm. 
So we can stick that at the bottom. And I think what I'll also do is just add In fact, wait a minute. I made these little paper rosettes. I might use one of them there. In fact, I will. Right. Now, I'll just run around the edges with a vintage photo. I rather like the the one right angle. I don't know why. I don't know. I just know I do. Get music paper and do the distressing while watching the glue explode in the corner. They really should rename uh, Fabri-Tac Aetna. Etna or uh, is it Fuji, Mount Fuji in Japan that, that erupts periodically. Or I could call it Pompeii glue because it gives me the impression it would like to kill me. No. I'm not giving up this glue. So I made these wee paper rosettes up yesterday morning, or I think it was yesterday, yesterday afternoon it was I did it. Hold on, I'm just going to check my camera. Yep, doing okay. Right, um, made the wee paper rosettes up yesterday and just stuck little vintage buttons to them. And I'm going to stick this little poem. The poem comes from a book of... Uh, old-fashioned rhymes. The book itself wasn't terribly old but it's um, the the contents, the, the whole crux of the book if you like, was that it was um, vintage poems or kind of games that kids played when they were young. I can't say I've ever heard this one about the dog and the cat. To be honest, I think some of them were made up, but who am I? Right, my wee boy, I want to stick him on with my erupting glue. Just move about the glue that I've got. Right, And where did my wee Dutch stamp go? Hi there, sorry about that. Um, who knew the camera get heat, gets hot and cuts out? 
Right, anyway, so lesson learned. We keep the videos under 30, 30 minute segments at least. Right, I uh, finished that off by adding that wee blue stamp. So that's that page done. Okay. Um, I'm not tackling these yet. I will handle that uh, when we get there. Right. Next page I'm going to do is this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make... Oh no, I'm not, because you can't see it, so there's absolutely no point. Right, I was going to use that, but there isn't any point because you can't see anything. Might use a music page. I'm going to need to flatten that out. No, when I say flatten, I mean straighten. Right. If I put that there and add that there and we add a wee man down there maybe. But what I'll do is as well as the wee man, I think I would I would quite like to get some words. Uh, so First thing I'll do though is I'm going to stick this bit of music paper down. Once I've done this page, that'll be it for today, because um, the takes me quite a bit of time to get the the camera, or sorry, the film onto the camera, and then from there onto YouTube. Uh, so stick that there. I'm going to stick this here. Now I'll show you this quickly. It's um, a wee book. So what I did was I took some pages. This one's actually, uh, I used the glue stick to glue the bottom one. I've just stapled, I think it's like four pages together. And I used another sheet to film, uh, to stick on this bottom bit. Added a wee bit of lace here. This is a... Uh, a wood chip circle and I cut, die cut a little black card circle and then glued on a button on top. So we'll just stick that down with the erupting glue. So again, that will leave plenty of uh, writing space for us. Even though I've used uh, the scrapbooking paper in the book. Put the lid on the fabric tack. I really am going to have to tackle trying to clean that bit. Now I did, I was going to stick that, either that wee man or here's a wee guy, whoops, a wee guy playing with a dog. I quite like him. But I really need, uh, I need to find the book actually. There it's there. Bear with me because everything's going to fall over. Everything's lying at a jaunty angle on something that's slippy, do you know that? I 
there's a limit to how far things can fall, so when you hear clatters, don't worry. Right, this is the New Picture Dictionary. This is the book that comes from uh, it's for the 80s, but you'd need to tell somebody. Because it's honestly, it's so, so dated. It might be from the 70s, but I've got a feeling it's, it's based on something else. Mm, I thought dog might be in it, but it's not. Mm, I just need to find a good sentence. Sorry about this. Still looking for a good page. Do you know, maybe I'm tackling this from the wrong angle. Maybe what I need to do is find my... Wait a minute, let me see what other wee pictures have I got. I've got a nice wee lassie at a gate. Oh, we'll use a wee lassie. We'll use a wee lassie and I'll have a wee look later on and see if I can come up with uh, some words for her. Uh, just use the glue stick, I think, for this. I think that will do this. And maybe we should stick in something else. Wait a minute. I might stick that in. It's just a wee bird cage. I'll stick it up in the corner. 
just a wee bit extra interest to the page. And that's us. Right, that'll do is because I'm going to go and tidy up a wee bit, clean those, clean that glue, and uh, try and work out what else I can prepare for tomorrow. I've still obviously got quite a bit of stuff here that, um, to use, so if you give me the benefit of the doubt, tomorrow we shall tackle the pages again. That wee bit lace at the bottom is going to stick out the bottom of the book, by the way, but that's okay. That is okay. So there you go, that's what we've done today. We'll see what we can do tomorrow. Put the books back. And I think it's going to end up being a bit of a chunky monkey by the time I've added all the things I want to add to it. Right, thanks very much for your time. Sorry for the hoo-ha and the drop and everything and the big loud bangs and it cutting out and then me coming back. Um, I'll hopefully be in a position to join you tomorrow and we'll do some more of the pages. I think the pages are going to take us a wee bit of time but we'll, we'll work through it and see what we can come up with. So thanks very much for your time, thanks for sticking with me and I shall speak to you again very soon. Bye guys, bye!